My wife has joined the line uh, to enter the Rauda and pray there. Welcome to Life Moves. I'm Saeed Mahmoud. Assalamu alaikum. I am right now in Masjid An Nabawi in Medina. She has joined at least one hour uh, before I did, uh, compared to her starting time, that is. It's a long queue in various parts, uh, but hopefully she'll get in. So there is an initial line where it's not really a line, but people are crammed together. Um, not necessarily the guard's fault, but uh, anyway. Uh, basically a thicker line so to speak um, as you can see there and from there then they make a, a thinner line where it's just a single file one person after another kind of line a proper line and from there they go in and then there's a vetting process to make sure that everybody has the uh, app and the necessary permit they check each and every one and after that they let uh, go to go to the next stage which is much closer to the door much closer to the door number 37 which is the women's door to uh, visit the Rauda and uh, there you show the permit and go through so um, if you join uh, around the time your uh, slot starts your slot is about half an hour 29 minutes to be precise you will not make it to the uh, front of the line before your time ends so you have to join uh, one hour before and that's what my wife did based on my experience we have learned uh, and hopefully she will get in I've uh, lost visual can't see her anymore but hopefully inshallah she will get in the sisters visiting time of the Rauda uh, is different so the slots available on the men's app will not be available on the other and the uh, times available on the women's app will not be available on the men's so it's completely different timings uh, gate number is slightly different perhaps 37 or something but again check on your app inshallah you'll get there uh, and pray in the rauda inshallah the line is very long and in parts uh, at various uh, checkpoints so to speak so the end of the line where you go and stand right now might actually be two three minutes walk from your gate number because the line goes like this uh, in a serpentine fashion so as of Ramadan 2023 that is how you enter the Rauda to pray in there and the app for both of Umrah and uh, Rauda visit is called Nusuk and this is what the app looks like you can now register uh, wherever you are in the world because they now do send the uh, code by email initially it used to be mobile only and hence it was difficult to do that outside of Saudi Arabia but right now over email is fine so you can actually uh, register and book your Rauda slot visiting the Rauda before you arrive in the kingdom so that's all good now you can do that uh, as of Ramadan 2023 that's working so that's good news Alhamdulillah so you go to the app you register uh, if you have your visa already you have to put your visa number so there are three categories to select either you're a resident or you're a Gulf resident or uh, you're a visitor so depending on which one you have to select uh, as for me I'm visiting um, on a tourist visa so either tourist or Umrah visa or Hajj visa you have to enter the visa number now once you do that then you create your account you can see the dates so you select uh, Rauda, Noble Rauda praying and once you do that you can say, see the dates now you, once you select the dates you see um, uh, the green yellow and red showing busy moderate busy and uh, very busy and all of this remember uh, when you're booking well in advance you might see something as green but by the time you get there the people who are booking two days or three days before that they're seeing it as red so anything will become eventually red so it doesn't really matter as long as you get the date and time you want just book the uh, click on the date right here you can see this is how it appears you click on the date and then you click on the time uh, you can uh, select the time and you book and once you have it you have your permit you can show it to them without internet it sort of works only issue is that if you have had no internet for a long time it shows uh, no internet connection that can be a bit of an issue but what you can do is you can connect uh, your internet uh, um, somewhere nearby in your hotel or somewhere and then you come here to show it to them once you get here uh, it does stay active for about an hour or more than that so that just about works but if you have a local sim card then brilliant no problem whatsoever 
uh, with regards to the dates sometimes they don't open up the date so you could go up to fourth for example and uh, maybe even a few days before fourth fifth is not showing up doesn't mean it's all gray means it doesn't mean it's all gone what it means is that they haven't opened it up but if it's a few days gray and after that the following days are available that means those days in between are now all gone fully booked once it's gone it's gone uh, but if it's uh, the rest of the month is gray it means it's not open yet so you have to keep checking come back and check every day until you get it thumbs up if you have any questions let me know this update information ramadan 2023 and i think um, the app is here to stay it started off as a social distancing physical distancing kind of measure but now it's here to stay probably uh, so i'm i believe uh, during hajj 2023 you can expect to see this app in operation where you need the permit and go through that process that we described just now uh, if you have any questions let me know uh, and if you uh, do like my content please subscribe to the channel i'll come to you for many more videos from hajj makkah madina and also from muslim countries around the globe uh, i'm traveling to see how muslims are living in many countries and i'm bringing all of that to you on this channel i'll uh, see you soon in the next video happy traveling